what are the key kind of triggers to this IBS? Because the, you know, the obvious ones, dairy, gluten, that sort of thing. But some is, some people suffer from quite obscure ones as well, you know, like onions or apples, and there's lots of different things. So how, what do, what's the difference? Where, how does it vary? Yeah, so, so what we do, what we know to be true is that for 80% of people, 85% of people with irritable bowel syndrome, a diet called the low FODMAP diet works. And FODMAPs are fermentable carbohydrates that are found in many, many different foods, as you say. So gluten is one or wheat is one, as is dairy. So lactose and so not necessarily cheese and yogurt, but definitely milk itself and ice cream, that sort of thing. Then also onions, garlic are classic ones for IBS triggers, apples, pears. Lots of the common foods we eat actually contain FODMAPs and people can end up eating quite a lot of them in a short space of time. So clinically, and it's really helpful and important to do it with the supervision of a dietitian, what we do is remove all those FODMAPs for a short period, maybe four weeks, maybe a couple of weeks, depending on where you are with things. 